good morning to everybody and uh, good afternoon and good evening to people watching from other countries and i am i am devendran from nagarkoil india and uh, i am a bonsai grower uh, f- um, for the last 50 years this is my 50th year and uh, i am the now i have been appointed as the international consultant by the wbff and i am working promoting the bonsai art along with the south asian bonsai federation the newly formed region with the help of um, uh, mrs sneha prasad from mumbai and um, i am managing a bonsai garden under the name nikki bonsai garden all the bonsai are created by me i have more than 6 to 700 bonsai in my garden and uh, this um, i got two prestigious award for my creations at uh, two times at uh, mysore international convention one is uh, ivasaki award for my bodhi tree and uh, another one is uh, uh, in the last uh, convention <coughs> uh, that is a bci excellence award these are the two main uh, um, international awards i got then uh, i am the president of kerala bonsai association trivandrum and uh, this is the few over with few words i am just going for the session this is from 96 onwards i am giving training and teaching to various bonsai artist in india i got an opportunity to demo at indonesia also and um, <clears throat> all my sharing are from mainly from my experience with the knowledge i gathered from various places so um this this uh, session uh, i am conducting from hyderabad unfortunately i am held up in hyderabad due to lockdown so i am unable to show you the live views of my garden or live view of any of my bonsai everything i prepared with the photos from my gallery and um, some photos available in other source also and uh, now the, our subject i am teaching here is casuarina this is a very 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 interesting species as the uh, tropical people are concerned because it uh, it looks like this uh, needle pine or juniper so it is very interesting in tropic tropical climatic condition most of the trees we are having is uh, with a broad leaf this is a needle type so we can uh, make any type of styles out of this it will yield to any type of basic as well as something classic and um, i want mm-hmm. to say something about the character of the casuarina is uh, actually it is a native of australia and the coastal areas of peninsula it is also very almost a native of um, india also uh, along the coastal areas of uh, india uh, it uh, there are um, uh, two varieties in it uh, two varieties means both are i think both are casuarina equisiti folia and our local variety i call it indian variety its needles are slightly thicker and its uh, growing pattern is entirely different from that of australian variety or indonesian variety whose needles are very thin and short when you prune this indian variety that is local variety here you you can't expect a lot of ramification branch formation with that but this australian variety which is highly suitable for bonsai when you pinch it prune it 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 will become very compact and um, lot of branches it will produce so you see this um, this casuarina you see the part formations uh, in this this is uh, only possible 
uh, possible with the Australian variety. This is uh, a um, pad formation and a small leaf. It looks like a needle pine. Then um, another important aspect is it grows well in seashore, sandy soil and even it tolerates uh, little hard water, saline water and uh, it is um, tolerates temperature from um, 4 to 5 to up to 44 degree and uh, it likes uh, high humidity and rain. In a rainy place or high hum humidity place it grows very fast, very fast. Generally it is a fast growing um, uh, species and uh, then these are all these small uh, things about sun um, and uh, the next uh, important aspect of uh, Casuarina is uh, this is the uh, it is a very very uh, special variety for all the category of the people say for the beginners as well as the seniors or the masters because you can create any any uh, styles out of this so you can learn all the aspects of bonsai art through this species so it is better to uh, grow this uh, casuarina for the for to learn the bonsai art then how to every success of a bonsai uh, development is you uh, your success in growing the plant in a healthy way this um, important aspect of um, making casuarina very healthy is depends on three aspects one is soil other is watering and the third one is manuring these are the main aspects of uh, some because uh, it grows well in a sandy soil so i am recommending a mixer that is uh, um, we have to use well digested cow dung that is very very important you see this uh, photo you see the cow dung here that is um, well digested cow dung it um, it it's um, it looks like a um, clay clay like clay that is a three to four months old cow dung in a wet condition uh, you have to dry it in a shade and make it semi wet condition then use the leaf mold leaf mold means the cuttings and the leaf everything is um, well digested and powder it and uh, that is one part and and this is um, very important that is a gravel sand gravel sand means uh, we call it a coarse sand i am using a river sand coarse sand the particle must be 2 to 3 mm then use uh, ordinary garden soil with a lot of humus and uh, uh, that is uh, very very important because it must be taken from the top portion of your garden or somewhere which contains a lot of microorganisms so that is uh, and you can add with that this is a combination not for potting sir just i am showing it um, This is a casuarina. You see its uh, formations. So soil mix must be like that. And another another aspect of it is um, this its a root formation is very fast if you use a very airy um, soil. For that we are using very um, um, gravel type or uh, coarse type uh, sand that will help the root system to develop but when you use a gravel gravel size then watering is very important because uh, uh, it takes a lot of water and uh, when it is uh, um, having a water stagnation that creates a problem so it must have a good drainage when you water water it um, the water must uh, drain out very easily so at the same time it must retain some moisture also so that will be taken by the plant 
when all the moisture is moisture this uh, water um, uh, in this pot will be taken by the tree and uh, it, that creates a gap and uh, air will be penetrated into it that will promote the growth of the root system then important is watering but yes uh, because uh, it is better to water watering is uh, depends on so many factors that is uh, temperature and uh, the condition of the sun wind condition humidity conditions and uh, the growing time that is uh, the foliage here we say the needles if the plant is having a lot of needles it takes more water and in that situation you must check the soil with the soil is always always keep the soil 30 to 40 percent moisture if it is go down that will affect the root system so watering time how to calculate the watering time is 2 uh, hours after the sunrise in the morning and 2 hours before the sunset and if you are using big gravels and a uh, lot of wind and a dry climate and humidity is very less sometimes you have to water casuarina at noon also generally i am not doing that it is enough it is, a, it is because your temperature go above 40 degree and uh, the humidity is below 10 like that in that case you have to be very careful some lot of protection you have to give i am not uh, going for that uh, and the main thing is uh, <clears throat> so these are manuring next is the manuring manuring means uh, casuarina likes always like organic manure but only with manu uh, organic manure we can't get the result fast when you grow start from uh, starting material from cuttings or saplings so you have to give some or inorganic that is fertilizer also the best way is uh, two grams in one liter that is the best combination that if you even if it is less it is no harm lesser amount lesser quantity of chemical and increase the frequency along with the best organic manure best organic ma manure according to me i am using mainly well digested cow dung you can see that here uh, this is the well digested cow dung um, that is three to four months old this is mixed with the uh, soil and uh, and the top manuring is very very important when you uh, report it or uh, put it in a, your grow bag within one or two months all the men this uh, root will be established and it will take all the manure content in that it fast it is a fast growing so it takes all the manure then you have to give more manure on the top of it how to give top manuring this um, this making of this uh, cake like with a cow dung mixer that is here the mixer is uh, different because this uh, you have to keep more than 50% cow dung the condition of the cow dung must be clay like then add neem cake soil which is a pesticide also it will prevent a lot of fungal attack and a leaf mold which is also develop lot of microorganism in your soil and for aeration you can use this uh, gravel like sand you mix it to together 50% must be cow dung and uh, all others must be 50% if cow dung is not available you can use any other animal animal waste or something don't use uh, this uh, poultry waste that produce a lot of heat and uh, that will affect the root system uh, any other thing goat or something like that but it must be well digested sometimes uh, the cow dung is uh, of the after well digestion the cow dung will looks like uh, it uh, its texture is just like uh, clay so we can make uh, this uh, cake very easily there are a lot of benefits in using this one is we are placing it on the top of the pot it is mainly for the bonsai pot but you can use it for uh, in your growing pot also because you see we are uh, placing it like this it won't block all the whole top portion of the soil so um uh, water will reach um, reach the 
a lower level very easily and uh, it will not be block the air penetration so that is um, if it if you block it that will spoil the root system so this way if you place it here and there within a month root will penetrate into this uh, name this cake this uh, organic manure cake and it take uh, it takes all the manure content of the uh, ball that is you see the root is uh, um, just uh, coming out of the ball and it is fully covered with the root system so the, the growth will be very fast when it reaches the uh, cow dung ball and uh, within 2-3 months it takes away all the manure from this ball and uh, after that you <coughs> scrape it with the root system and uh, remove all the roots and place another set of balls. You continue this two times or three times in a year. Best time for this application is rainy season. And um, what are the precautions you have to do is don't allow the cake to fully dry out. If you make it fully dry out, water won't penetrate. So the, um, you must be very careful uh, in uh, keeping the ball fully in a wet condition. And uh, another benefit in this is you are increasing the volume of the soil for the, especially in a bonsai pot. Increase the volume of the soil. So, and every time you are removing lot of roots also. That, uh, that is uh, helping the plant to produce new roots and it is a partial reporting or partial removing of the root system. And at the same time, fresh roots are coming and it is taking all the manure and the tree is very fastly rejuvenating and growing well. Same thing is happening with the, uh, in a plant, in a grow bag also. Another important uh, benefit uh, with this is, you see, this is uh, a plant um, uh, completely worked and designed. And uh, you see the pot, now it has to be, um, it has to be reported in a bonsai pot. See, this uh, length is more than 12 inch, 12 to 15 inch. It is a grow But cashewrina, if you remove a lot of root system that will affect the plant sometimes it may die so our, our advice in reporting is remove only one third root system around the uh, pot here we have to reduce the depth of the pot for that this application of the uh, cow dung ball will help you to prevent the plant from shock because when you place a lot of cow dung ball on the top of it it produces a lot of roots on the upper portion and even if you cut the lower portion one third or more even half that will not affect the plant so this will help the help to reporting any even in reporting of bonsai from the bonsai pot you place these balls on the top so that all the roots more roots will enter into that ball and even if you are reducing some roots from the lower, it won't affect the tree. This is the best method of the application of the organism. You can, this I am mainly using cow dung. You can mix it with uh, so many other uh, combinations of organic, leaf mold. Some people are using uh, vermicompost and uh, some people are using uh, another um, general compost, this uh, leaf compost, uh, this way organic compost and uh, instead of uh, this uh, neem cake you can use uh, oil cake any oil cake also don't use the coconut oil cake uh, that is uh, this uh, manure content uh, in that is very less and that will attract lot of insects and uh, and and so many things so neem means it is uh, it won't be attracted by the any uh, insect or and or and that is the reason it is available plenty with me also then is so in growing bonsai lot of people are facing lot of problems with that the main reason is uh, they are used to grow ficus which is a very sturdy plant 
and even if you fail to water one day it will survive but uh, that is not the case with the casuarina um, the main problem is the root decay it will happen only because of the water stagnation if in any case your this uh, drainage hole is blocked the water will be stagnated and that will stop the growth of the small root system it will then the whole root will be decayed and it will die but the result you will get only after the end of the plant there is a when the plant started plant will struggle to survive with that but finally it is unable to survive and immediately within a week it will die so you must be very careful whether the air aeration is correct drainage is correct this when you, uh, that is very important with the so sometimes uh, some what do you call this um, fungal attack very very rare in a very rainy place this may happen so in that case you apply some fungicide because i am using lot of this neem cake it is also very good fungicide uh, so it, no problem for me because i am telling some people that is the carelessness is mainly water water problem that is a uh, um water blocking of the water drainage and uh failure in watering that is also happening with everybody they may think that evening we need not water and uh, they will skip watering in the evening at the same time on that day the plant is taking lot of water from the soil because of the humidity the less humidity on wind or very so if you skip evening tomorrow morning the plant from the beginning it will struggle so you have to be very careful check the soil and uh, found that if you found that the soil is um dry immediately water it and how to check the um drainage drainage wall if it is blocked you can easily check it but uh, the water stagnation happened when you take the plant out you can see all the roots are black in color then it is very very dangerous situation at that time don't try to uh, uh, prune the roots or repot it what you have to do is keep the whole plant in sand and cover it with the sand and control the watering then it will come up that is the one way of uh, uh, making it um, survive at this time